welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing this super awesome red purple very dramatic look. I am finally using the House of Lashes Iconics. I'm so excited. I'm sorry it's so dark by the end of this video. I was trying super hard to film really fast but some things got in the way. I hope you guys enjoy and this is going to be my last video of 2015. So crazy. Thank you so much for being here for my first year of YouTube. I have so many great things planned for 2016. I'm so excited. So I hope you guys enjoy this YouTube video of moi and I'll see you in 2016. Bye guys. Hi guys. I seem so excited. <sighs> I was just playing with my Snapchat thingy, you know, the one that can fast forward all the videos. I was just playing with that for like half an hour. So I'm a little bit hyper. <sighs> Hi, boo-boo! Hi, sneakers! She decided to join me. I'm going to start out with the eyes just because I don't want any fallout, and even though you can see this huge thing on my face, it looks so much worse on camera than it does in person. I had a pimple, and I picked it. Never pick it. I picked it, and it was, you know, kind of worth it, but fuck, I don't really know. Um, I'm gonna use this Thank Me Later eyeshadow primer by... Elizabeth Moth? Mott? Moth? Mott. Elizabeth Mott. I got this in my Ipsy bag, so I really wanted to try it and let you know what my thoughts are on it. I don't think you need a lot, so I'm just gonna... Ooh. Maybe I already used too much. I'm just gonna put that on my eyelids and spread it out first and then pat it in. I'm going to be going into Peach Smoothie. It's a very nice neutral... Um, more warm tone neutral. It's a really good transition color, so I'm going to do that with my Morphe 504 brush. And I'm going to buff that into the crease. That'll kind of prime that uh, eye primer that we put down too. And I'm going back and forth, and then windshield wiper motions. So it should just create a nice gradient like that. And I'm picking up some more, putting on my... Ooh! That's already... That's already, was getting already creasy, holy shit, I barely used any either. I'm going to be going into my Shade and Light, Light Eye Palette. Um, ooh, hold on. Okay, so I brought you guys a little bit closer just to see my eyes um, a wee bit more. So I'm going to be getting some Scotch Tape. And I decided that I really want to do kind of like that winged look, um, just to create a really nice sharp edge. I think it looks very sultry, and uh, that's kind of what I'm into for this New Year's. I'm really feeling it. So I'm putting it on the back of my hand and just ripping it off a couple times so it's not so sticky. And I'm going to follow the lower lash line and stick it upwards towards the tail of my brow. I really want to take your time with this and just make sure that they're even, so... They look very nice and precise. And using the end of your brow really creates a really nice... So this one's reaching my brow, this one's reaching my brow. You can see what I mean? So it's like a really nice measuring tool sort of thing. So I'm going to be going into my Shade and Light Eye Palette. Latinus. It's this one over here. It's kind of like a more cool tone sort of light brown. I guess it could be compared to Buck by the Naked 1 or 2 palette. I can't remember. So I'm going to pop that in the outer corner and I'm just going to do the exact same thing, windshield wiper motions, back and forth. And I'm really focusing this on the outer portion of my eye, just to create more depth. See how nice that's coming now? Whoa! <laughs> I'm digging it guys, I'm digging it. So I really wanted to do a maroony purple. So now I'm going to be going into Bitten by Makeup Geek. It's this beautiful kind of really red, um, red burgundy color I guess. Everyone knows what, you know, Bitten looks like, it's the classic. So I'm going to be popping that in the exact same spot and working this one more towards the crease. I love how this is looking. So basically what I just did was I brushed off 
the excess powder onto my towel that I have on my lap and then I went in and just blended it just a little bit more. If you find that you put too much dark color on, pick up that lighter shade like Peach Smoothie or that latest color from my Shade and Light eye palette. Put that on the brush and then work through that dark color. That'll help to blend it out a little bit more if you made it too dark. Now I'm going to take... I'm going to take my Morphe 124 brush. This is basically just a, a color packer on her brush, if you know what I mean. And I'm going to go into the color Caitlin Rose. This is a foiled shadow by Makeup Geek. It's this one right here. It's a beautiful, like, pure purple. It's a foiled shadow, so it's, it is going to be very metallic, which I love. You don't have to use this with Fix Plus or eye drops. You can use it on its own. It's seriously so pigmented. But I'm going to take this on the M124 brush. You can also use your finger if you don't have um, a brush packer on her. Like, see that looks good, but then if I take my finger, oh, it just like it works so much better. Like that's with my finger. Like it just works so much better, I find, sometimes with fingers. And I'm going to apply that on the inner corner all the way to about halfway. Because I really want it to be like purple to that red color, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? So this is looking so beautiful. Um, I feel like playing around just a bit. Oh, I don't know if I should leave it like this, but I have this pigment by MAC. It's more of like a bluey purple as opposed to the Caitlyn Rose, which is like a pure purple. So I'm going to go back in with my 124 and MAC Fix Plus. I'm going to soak my brush just a little bit, you don't need a lot. And I'm going to go and pick up that pigment. And I'm going to pop that mostly on the center. I think it just made it even more shimmery, I don't know if it made it more blue. I don't know! I don't know! I just see myself spilling all this pigment everywhere, oh my god, it'd have blue everything. Shiny blue everything. I'm going to go back into Bitten with the same Morphe 504, and I'm just going to try to blend out that line. I'm going to grab my M Morphe, Morphe 504, 505 brush. It's the exact same, just a little bit smaller, better for the crease. And I'm going to grab the black in the Shade and Light Eye Palette. I'm going to just grab a little tiny bit, and I'm going to push, push that right against the tape. Okay. I think I'm done with that main part so I can remove the tape now, so fingers crossed this doesn't look like shit. Because I will fucking cry. I fucking like it! I like it, guys. <sighs> Sorry, team. I got in an accident a few months ago, and my car's just been sitting out in front. And the tow truck just showed up just to tow it for me because I'm getting it towed to my boyfriend's house. Thank goodness. So my face is frozen because here in Canada it's like minus 18 right now. Got the tape off and I was just talking about the Maybelline, Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I'm in the shade 120. I love this stuff. I love it. I love it. I love it. The only downside is that it doesn't have a pump. So that's a pain in my ass. But it's not totally matte. Like I... I've been using my foundation lately with, um, after I wash my face, I use my day cream, but I mix it in with a couple of drops of bio oil, just like one or two, and that just makes my skin look so amazing, like it looks so healthy. Woo! My bad, oh my god. Um, it makes my skin look so healthy. My laptop is being so loud. Um, so use a foundation that you're really used to and that you know really well. I am going to be using my Morphe 149, uh, 439 brush. This is a foundation brush. So now that I've dotted all over my face, I'm going to start buffing it in in circular motions. And make sure to get the sides of the nose because that's where I always screw up on. And then later I notice that it looks super cakey on the sides of my nose, so make sure to really buff that in. Okay, so I always say that I would rather my foundation look more natural and have a couple blemishes popping out um, than try to kind of mask it. 
you can do whatever you want. If you want to have them like completely covered, please go for it. This is just my personal preference, just because I like to, you know, it's real life. It is real life. I'm going to be using my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. This is probably my favorite concealer of 2015. And I'm gonna... Whoop. So you can highlight with this too. So I popped it on my nose, on my forehead. And using my M439, I'm just gonna buff that in. This is just gonna create a really nice balanced look. You can use a beauty blender, you can use your fingers to pat this out too, you don't need to use this. My favorite sponge ever is the uh, Real Techniques B Miracle sponge. You just wet it and then you just pat it everywhere and you bounce it up and down. It's amazing. It's just, it's getting so dark out just because I was outside trying to get my car towed for so long so now my makeup's looking, it's just too dark in my room so I'm gonna have to up my brightness so I'm so sorry. And you can really use this to clean up the edges of that kind of cat eye part. So if you kind of screwed up a couple places, put the con like the concealer down here and then use your brush or sponge or finger to buff it up. You don't want to put it too close to the line because that's when you can miss and then just concealer everywhere. Just I'm going to be going into my uh, CoverGirl Loose Translucent Powder just to set my under eye. I'm taking it with this Tarte Travel Brush that I got. It's just like a flat brush. If you have um, a beauty blender, you can use that as well to set your under eye. Um, but I'm just going to be using this because it's my favorite way. And then you can dust off the excess after you've patted it in. Wow. So if you want your makeup to last all night, I suggest using some kind of fluffy brush just to set your makeup with it. So I'm going to be using the same CoverGirl translucent powder on just a big fluffy brush. And I'm just going to buff that all over not buff it, for fuck's sakes. And I'm just gonna dust that all over my face, um, anywhere that I get really oily. This will help everything else glide on better too, like your bronzer and stuff, so. As well as making your makeup last longer. I'm going to be using my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. It's the perfect shade, it's beautiful. And I'm going to be popping that on with my Still Spa Essentials uh, bronzer brush. I got this from Walmart. It's honestly still my favorite brush out of every single one I own for bronzing. It's just like, I love how like stippling it is so I can never put on too much bronzer. In some old videos of mine, like when I first started last year, you can see that like my bronzer is super harsh. So this really prevents me from putting on too much. I'm going to be put that, putting that to kind of in my hollows. Just around the perimeters of my face, you can put this on the edges of your forehead, on your neck if you'd like. You can drag it down. It just creates like this nice soft contour. I'm not really into like the really harsh contour right now, so you do you, boo. I'm going to be going into that same kind of fluffier brush that I was using to dust all my powder all over the face. It's just this like angled kind of flat top brush, but it's super fluffy. And using my NYX Dusty Rose Blush, this is like perfect. I'm going to be taking just a wee bit of that and popping that on the outer portion of my cheeks. Hee <laughs> hee, I'm so blushed. I'm going to finish off my eye. I don't know if I want to do a cat eye. You can do a cat eye if you want. I'm kind of scared too, just because I love my eye makeup so much that it I'm so scared that if I fuck it up, you know, I fucked it up forever. But sometimes you need to take a plunge of faith. So I'm gonna be right back. I suck at doing wing liner on camera, so give me five mini toes. Okay, so I did the wing liner. It only took me like three minutes, which is not that bad. Um, it's just like a little baby wing. Um, I really like how more emphasized it is on the outer corner. I used my Essence Waterproof Eyeliner Pen. It is my favorite ever. It's like two bucks. Favorite, favorite, favorite. Super black, super easy to use, and super cheap, so can't really go wrong. Using my Benefit Gimme Brow in the darker shade, I'm just going to comb through my brows. You can do whatever you want for your brows, but I haven't really mastered my brow technique yet, so using this tinted brow gel by Benefit literally just like is so foolproof for me. But if you have really full brows, even just giving it a comb through with a spoolie 
will make it look like you did something. So just using a spoolie can really make a world of a difference, but just see, like, see my brows, like, they just seemed more maintained. Um, like I said, I haven't really figured it out the way I like it, um, so this is just the way that I've been doing it lately. I think I need a shimmer. So I'm going to be going into my Urban Decay palette. I'm using this kind of champagne-y pink color. Um, I'll label it down below because I depotted it, so I don't really know what it's called. You can use whatever you want. You can use any highlight that you have. You can use a really white eyeshadow. Curling my lashes now. My favorite mascara of 2015 is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. I freaking love this stuff. So just give your lashes like a coat. You can go to town with this if you want. You can go put on fake eyelashes. Um, I think I want to try to put on eyelashes. I don't really know. I got the House of Lashes Iconics in the mail. Like, they're so beautiful, but they're fucking huge. Like, how does... How do people wear these lashes? They're so big, I'll show you. Like, Jacqueline wears them, everyone wears them, and I was like, oh my god, I'm totally gonna get them, because... Because um, House of Lashes was having like a free shipping day, and since I'm from Canada, you gotta take advantage of that shit. So I got them because I've always wanted them, but they're so big. I don't know how YouTubers wear them, like holy shit, like look at this. They're so big. Oh my god, where'd it go? When I opened my eye, they touched my eyebrows. I thought I had a lot of room, but I don't think I do. I'm gonna try to put these on. I'll be back. Wish me luck. <laughs> this is so weird. I don't know if I have them on properly. I've never put on fake lashes this big before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I feel like I can't even see. I'm like looking down and I'm like, whoa. So basically I use the duo lash adhesive and these are the host of lashes iconics <laughs> me wearing them wow I'm gonna finish the lower lash line I'm going to be using the morphe 432 brush I'm going to use some of that peach smoothie and the bitten I'm just gonna buff that on the lower lash line this is more of the Packer honor brush um, and then we want to go after with a pencil brush and then blend it out I'm going to dip it into that black that we used, but I really want to focus that bitten just because I really like that kind of red color. Going in with my pencil brush, I use the MAC 219 brush. This is my favorite one, um, and I'm just going to try to blend it out just a little bit just to make it nice and smoky. You don't have to smoke with a lower lash line. You can leave it totally bare and just apply mascara if you want, but I really like the look. I'm going to add some black liner to my waterline. I'm using the Buxom Insider Eyeliner. It's just in the color black. That's just going to make it really sexy. If you have smaller eyes, you can use a nude eyeliner pencil on the waterline. But I really like that kind of sultry look right now. So I'm doing the black and applying some mascara to my lower lashes just because I haven't done that yet. I'm going to take my... Benefit WhatsApp highlighter, and I'm going to pop that on the tops of my cheekbones. You can use this to kind of alter the way you want your, you know, bones to be shaped. So my eye socket kind of goes like that, but I want my face to appear like, I don't know, longer? I don't really know. So I go more in the straight line to kind of like fake the appearance of like a longer face. Taking my Morphe fan brush, it's the M601. I'm going to dip that into Champagne Pop and dust that on top of the WhatsApp. You don't have to do this, but for me, I just think it makes the, you know, highlight pop from outer space. Just because it is New Year's, so why not? I'm going to pop that on the tip of my nose. Cupid. I'm taking that N Urban Decay Naked Palette highlight that we put on our brow bone. I'm going to pop that into the center or the corners. Okay, so I decided to do the Maybelline Warm Me Up. Um, I'm pretty sure this is a dupe for the MAC Velvet Teddy. So you can leave it like this or you can add a gloss. I'm just going to add a gloss just because I feel like it. I'm going to use the Smashbox Lip Gloss in the color Pixel. 
God, I wish the light was still here. It's so dark out. I'm just using my little ring light on my mirror. It's not even a ring light. It's like a fake ring light. And I'm going to use my L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible Setting Spray. <laughs> Don't taste that shit. Oh my god, I just tasted it. This is just going to really lock our makeup in place and look at more uniform, you know what I mean? Um, I hope you guys like this look. I wish that you could see it in more daylight. It was so beautiful out before, but I took too long with my car. Thank you guys so much for watching and bearing with me for running around. I hope you have a wonderful New Year's. I cannot wait to see you in my yearly favorites video. I'm going to be filming that very soon. Not today, but I hope you guys enjoy this. You can do whatever you want with it. You can make it a bold lip. You can skip the purple. You can switch out anything. Do you? Um, I will definitely be wearing probably this exact look on New Year's. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.